All right, guys. Winner's Finals is underway. It's gonna be a best of five series between our 6k... Or, I'm sorry, 6k... Uh, 6k Terran, Nico Rekt, and our 5.2k Terran, Lolis. Game 1 is gonna be on Pride. Game 2 will be on Beckett. Game 3 will be on Redshift. Game 4 will be on Stasis, and Game 5 will be on Purity and Industry. TVT best of five. Yes, it is a TVT best of five. Uh, Oz, I'm, our Terra Nationalism will be proud. Anyway, in the top left hand corner of Pride Vault Terrace, it is Psystorm Gaming's Nico Rekt. In the bottom right hand corner of the map, it is Luolis, the teal Terran player. I have no clue what clan that is. I'm sorry, Luolis. Yeah, Terra Nationalism. You see, 40 minutes before the tournament started, he said he was he said he was going to take a nap. And, uh, and then he fell asleep permanently. And by permanently, I don't mean he died. So uh, Twitch, please don't cancel me. I just mean he, uh, he's a little, uh... Yeah, he fell asleep in VC playing Diablo. Probably something with Finnish community. Uh, makes sense. So in that case, I've met a lot of Finnish players on monobato lobbies, way more than my fair share. Anyway, uh... Wait. So it looks like Nico Rekt is going for a double gas opener, whereas Luolis is... doing some kind of... Well, I'll, I would have said Reaper Fast Expand, but he's doing some kind of 2 Rex play. This isn't his own weird variation on a TVT 211, is it? Oh no, he's just making more Reapers. Oh, he's gonna do 2 Rex Reaper, some kind of 2 Rex Reaper in base. What? Okay. I mean, I don't hate it. I maybe look. Maybe, I mean, Luo. Nico Rekt is like 800 MMR above Luolus. So perhaps uh, Luolus doesn't like his chances if he just plays straight if he just plays straight up. Okay, so he's gonna see the Reaper. He's actually gonna go around it. Gonna chase Oh, but he does he misses the grenade. Now he's gonna try to save himself. Oh, but he's not gonna be able to do that. Oh, that's a huge pickoff. And Nico Rekt is gonna be able to delay until his second Reaper comes up. Now Lu Luolus. Losing one of his Reapers is going to completely just lose his ability to put pressure on Nico Rekt, which is terrible for him. He needs to pay attention to the two Reapers coming across the map right now. Oh no, his, his second Reaper is going to lose his second Reaper. Okay, never mind. The second Reaper is safer now. He's going to use the high ground. Cannot follow him up the high ground there. The trick keep trying to use the high ground. Gonna, there's a lot of Reaper clips on this map, by the way. This is this map is X. This map feels pretty good for Reaper play in TVT. With so many Reaper clips around the map, so many things you can do with it. And, uh, Reapers. Oh, Nico Rex gonna chase down the other Reaper. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, I just got news. We, uh, Baby Swiss just won- just beat Endurance. I believe Endurance is like 1800 MMR above Baby Swiss. So, uh, I don't know how that happened. But, uh, I guess we're in, uh, Nico Rex Reapers are in the base. He's I Yes. We're we're getting bullied by Reapers. And Luolis has to try to mitigate as much damage as he can. Okay, let me just sorry about I there there is no one else. Doesn't need MMR to win, I know, right? Anyway, my bad. I have to tab up for just a moment because uh I'm the only admin who is able to edit the bracket for some reason. I shared. Uh, I I had some other admins who were going to show up today, but then they all ended up having getting other things scheduled at the same time. Going to be a double cyclone drop from Nico Rekt.
Okay, so, uh... Yeah. Looks like Lulolus is gonna try for some kind of a stim push. Like, his stim is finishing up really early. The problem is that there are two Cyclones in his base. And these Cyclones, uh... Oh boy, those Marines are dead. Now you gotta pull everything back over here, and the Reaper's gonna come in. Lulolus has to try to manage this damage, but I don't know... I don't know, man. Two Reapers, two Cyclones, that's a lot of units. And uh, he could just pick up and get out at any time. Nico Rex got the mobility advantage all day. There are no medevacs done yet. So we Lulolus cannot stim to chase this medevac. Because every time... I mean, he has to in order to try to push it away. But every time he does, he's gonna... Yeah, there's just too much damage. Too much bullying being done at the start of the game. And Lulolus is just gonna tap out. Okay, just mating on map 2 now. Yeah, that was 470 APM, I think. Uh, so I'll show you real quick before we... Uh, Go into this, but wait, oh, hello? Oh, wait, what? Oop, I messed up. Okay, so this is this has doesn't have match history, so I'm dumb. You can't actually check the APM. You have to look at the replay. You can't check APM from match history, but uh, yeah. Anyway, Swiss, uh, let me know how Mr. K versus Baby Swiss and Cobblestone versus Kajmera goes, yeah? As we head into game two of our best of five series and best of five TVT. In the bottom left hand corner of the map, it is Psy Storm's own Red Terran player, Nico Rekt. In the bottom or in the top right hand corner of the map, we have the Teal Terran player, Luolus. <clears throat> I think both of those matches are going on right now? Okay, thanks. Yeah, uh, honestly, Mr. K and Baby Swiss have both made pretty deep, pretty deep runs into this tournament so far. Especially, especially Baby Swiss for how good they are. It's not to say that either of them is necessarily a trash player, but uh, I mean this this tournament is full of masters and GMs. So what can I say? Unfortunately, Terran Nash our very own favorite Terran Nationalism was a, uh, like I said, he was a little bit too- Oh, Eba, thank you for the follow. Hello, how are you doing? Anyway, you didn't show up, so our grand fi- or not our grand finals, our winner's finals is a best of five TVT- oh crap. I forgot to- okay, so Nico Rack is actually ahead one map right now, I forgot to click on that. It's gonna be a uh, double gas opener from both sides here. With a Reaper on the way. Lulolus is going to get his factory first. Hello, hello. Eva, how are you doing? No, it's too late for you. Yeah, I figured. I figured it's really late for, uh... Your parents would kill you. Darn. Even if you're GM, you some... Even if you're GM in StarCraft 2, sometimes you can't get the most lenient parents when it comes to those kinds of things, huh? Anyway, uh, these guys are fighting for a spot in Grand Finals and $35 for first place. So there's that. Factory Tech Lab on the way. Tech Lab? Okay. So, uh, Reactor on that, Tech Lab on that. Looks what's our first unit. Gonna be another Cyclone, so possibly Nicorect. Possibly Nicorect, like, just probably Age is being a factor here, yeah. Yeah, it definitely. Yeah, Age is definitely a factor here. In my. I think Age is. It definitely has something to do with it. Just, just maybe. Just maybe. 
maybe it has it maybe is a factor here. Anyway, I'm guessing Nico Rack really likes his double cyclone drops. Like he's about to get the gas for another cyclone, so let's get, see if he gets it. Okay, no. Oh, oh, okay, siege tank. Yeah, I've never seen. I don't know if the double cyclone thing was like just him, like a legit thing that he does, try to like get ahead, or if he's just like bullying Lois after what he did in the early on. But anyway, he's not paying attention to his Reapers because uh, he's trying to protect his own units. That cyclone is gonna wait. What? Okay, GG. Yeah. I... Okay, so these these games have all been like ending really early. Yeah, okay, he lost too much income to Reapers. Yeah. Okay, yeah, anyway, lots of APM going on. Uh, I guess you can just watch the VOD if you want to... Leave... Bing, guys. 482 APM, check W. Okay, game 3 will be on Redshift in a moment. I got pinged. I don't know where I got pinged. Oh, hello. Yeah, uh, Nico Rect has a lot of APM. Anyway, uh, best of five. It's gonna be a uh, map three with a uh, it's map. Ah, my English is so bad. I swear to God, I cannot think. Anyway, uh, it's gonna be map three of our best of five series on Redshift Ladder Edition. In the bottom left hand corner of the map, it is match point for Nico Rect, the Red Terran player. In the top left head corner of the map, he needs to reverse 3-0 if he wants to win upper finals. It's going to be Luolis, the teal Terran player. I know, Matthew, you you think you think watching Nico Rack is scary, but you put him up... Man, there's like a whole hierarchy of who thinks who is scary to play against in this game. I guarantee you, it goes up a lot higher than Nico Rack. That's not- that's no offense to Nikorak, by the way, he's been playing great this tournament. It's just- it's a really big- it's a really big ocean out there. Update the bracket real quick. Hang on. Oh, never mind. It's already updated. You're spamming control groups? Yeah, you can just spam control groups too. I mean, obviously not- yeah, like- like he says, not all APM is meaningful. He does okay he's gonna go to the, there this tower is really freaking important on this map because it lets you just see if they have a gold base without actually looking there and letting them know so if you take a gold base on this map your opponent and you don't have this tower your opponent can see if you're taking your gold base without ever you ever knowing you can see him quickly select the different buildings yeah like look at this like look at the little flashes of red that just happen periodically i think his mic ring over here which is why he's not Doing anything? He's gonna get another SCV, two SCVs, I believe, or three SCVs total. So, uh, yeah, th this Reaper has three SCV kills so far.
You know, what feels kind of bad is that I made the winners and losers finals and grand finals so long because I guess I just want them to play on every map. But it would be more interesting if I could, if there was actually potential for the, the worst player to just cheese their way through to win. Because it's a best of, because upper or grand finals is best of seven, the better player can just sort of play macro and be assured of a win. Though maybe not the best decision in hindsight. But then again, with a hundred dollar prize pool, I felt like, depending on who we got, a best of one best of one grand finals would have been a waste of money. Ooh, Reaper's earning a pick out on. Remember, Hikorakt is gonna round up a quick 3-0 for winners finals. And Luolus is going to 